If you're interested in learning to trade on Betfair, then visit the Bet Angel Academy, where you have detailed, structured Betfair trading courses. Or why not visit our website where you can download a free trial of Bet Angel Professional, but also visit the forum where you can get detailed images, examples, and downloadable files. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want notification of new videos as they're released. So we're looking at a Bet Angel screen here and it contains a lot of information, but one of the screens that you should look at as well as the information that's available in front of you and whatever you have added is the market overview screen. So if we click on the market overview screen, you'll see um, what this displays. Now, since I did my last video on the market overview screen, we have changed a few things, but what I'm gonna do is run through it um, straight from the top so that you can fully understand it if you've never seen or used it before. Um, it's actually been in BetAngel pretty much from the day the product was created, so it's it's been in there for a long time. Um, but we've tweaked and refined it over a period of time. If you want to change um, the colors of the market overview screen, you can do so in the settings. I mean, it's possible to do that. So some people don't like the white background and want a black background. You can change that within the settings. But what I'm going to focus on in this video is basically what you're looking at here and how the information is displayed. So the overview chart here you can see is a list of all the individual runners. And um, we can actually uh, look at closer at these by using the slider up here. And we can modify the slider up here as well. So that basically you can see all of the individual runners available on the screen in front of you. This will help you spot trends a little bit quicker. If you don't want to use the sliders, you can use the auto zoom that will basically cover all runners within that particular market. On the right hand side here, we have the risk meter. This is basically looking at the market and telling you how volatile it is. So if it's over in the red, that's saying the market's very volatile. If it's over in the green, it's saying it's quite stable. And you can see the yellow area here is saying this market is behaving pretty much as we expect. So you can see, and there's a little bit of fluctuation, it will move around, but this is just giving you a view on the market that you're looking at. How is it behaving based upon um, all of these markets historically? So that's quite interesting. Instantly you can grab um, each of these panes and move them around or delete them if you want. Um, and again, uh, when you save that in settings, you can um, have that as your standard default market overview screen. So it is actually possible to modify elements of this screen. We have the um, saddle cloth numbers here. We've got the silks and you can see as I move over it, you get the form and other information. Current back and lay price, last traded price, the implied probability, which is basically one over the last traded price. So for example, um, one divided by 20 would be about 5%. So you can see 18 and a half. Actually, there's a better example here. Look, one divided by 100, one, there you go. Um, something priced at 100 is taking up 1% of the market. You can see the current um, high and low traded price and where the current runner sits within that range. So you can see here that land of winter its, it's high is 6.8, it's currently at 6.4, so it's right at the top end of its current traded range. Whereas you can see birds to love is near the bottom of its traded range. So this is why we call it a market overview screen, because bang, as soon as you look at it, you've got a good view on what's going on within the market. So you can see here, drifter, mid-range, drifter, drifter, bottom of the traded range, drifter, towards the bottom end of its trade, and so on. And you can see here, this is right at the bottom of its trading range. And of course, if you want, you could actually click by, um, uh, you could sort by clicking at the top of this as well. So if we look at the volume here, this tells you how much volume is going through the market and the percentage of total volume that's going through the market. So instantly we can see Thornton Leclay here um, is near the bottom end of its traded range and it's got a lot of volume. It's being backed. You can tell straight away what's going on within this market. So if we wanted to, and we wanted to highlight that out, we can actually highlight it as a completely different colour. And you've also got the projected and actual SPs over on the right hand side here as well. Now you can actually move things around if you wanted to. So, you know, if we wanted to move the volume percentage next to the range percentage, um, you know, we could do that. That may uh, provide some information for us, or perhaps we want to frame the high and the low traded price. Um, that would be 
quite an interesting thing for us to do there because that would allow us to see where it sits within that particular range at a glance uh, without necessarily having to refer to the range percent but perhaps we would want to do that as well so we can move that over here as well and again if you save this in settings that will allow you to have all of that set up exactly the way that you wish. Now if we look um, at the top here you can see we've got um, the overview um, options available to you on here so I was trying to think of a word to say that but, but there are a number of different ways of uh, modifying uh, the market overview screen. So if I show the column chooser that's going to appear um, over here you can actually modify the market overview screen by removing columns that you don't want. That's uh, quite easy to do from there. If we look at the charting, which is the overview chart that you can see at the bottom down here, you can see that um, the me method for choosing selection to chart, manual selection on the grid, um, or you can do it by price or by quantity. So this actually allows you to decide how you're going to display the information. So we're going to display everything um, in terms of, as you can see, by price quantity. We're going to display everything between 101 and 10, for example. And then you can see how that changes the chart at the bottom here. That makes it a little bit easier um, for you to see certain things if you just want to focus on the front of the field. So you can see that there are a number of different options available to you here, which allow you to look at that. And if we did this by quantity, you can say, oh, I'm only interested in, in the top three and then it would only display the top three for you. So that makes it pretty simple to do as well. But you can see on here as well, um, you can choose how uh, information is sorted on there. And you can also decide um, if you want to display the way that um, the color is allocated when you switch to a individual market. These are all little things that you can do to improve your experience with the market overview screen. And um, if you look over here, you can see that this will actually sync to the Bet Angel market that you're currently on, but you don't have to. It can sync to the, um, you have no sync at all, the market underneath the mouse or the market that's selected in Guardian. So if you have the market overview screen up and you're wandering around Guardian or you're looking at a watch list, then it can automatically display the market overview data related to that. Um, but you can also uh, have it displayed as panes. Um, or you can have it displayed as tabs. So you can see down here now we've got it split up into individual tabs. So you can have the grid on one tab and the chart on the other. It's up to you how you wish um, to display that particular information. And again if you save this it will save within your settings as well. But um, probably what I should do here is um, before we round off this is just show you how um, having something in the Guardian as a selected market uh, displays on the market overview screen as well. Fairly self-explanatory but let me just show you that. So what I've done now <clears throat> is display Guardian um, in the background here and um, this will allow me to show you how the overview can be used um, to have a quick glance of a number of different markets as well. So they're currently running at uh, Southwell, or Southall, depending upon how you <laughs> choose to pronounce it. But you'll see the projected SP against the actual SP within the market here as well. Um, but as the race unfolds, you'll also get information in terms of the highest um, and lowest traded price within the market and um, all of the information related to that as well. So you can see how the charts are changing because obviously Land of Winter is um, running particularly well at this but at this moment in time and everybody is backing it with the anticipation uh, that it will win. Um, but if we go to another market here you can you can see that it still stays at Southwell um, so we can have a look at some of the early markets for tomorrow I doubt there'll be much activity on that but you can still see that it sat there looking um, at the market that you were last focus on uh, within Bet Angel. So you can see um, Posty um, had a high pre-off of 34. You can see that's more or less where it is now, but it's obviously traded much, much lower um, in running. You can see that it's hit um, 214 in running. Um, the favorites is obviously uh, one this particular race, but you can see there's something matched at 232, 305. So yeah, there's a, a mixture of prices in there. It's That can sometimes be quite useful to look at that level of information when the market is active. 
it's interesting to see that the heavily backed horse Thornton de Clay uh, didn't really come anywhere no idea where that actually finished um, I'll have to look at that in a second so if we go um, to the market sync at the moment it's focused on the market that we were actively trading on bet angel but if we change this to um, guardian selected market then what this will actually do is as we flick down through guardian you can see that it's bringing up information now a lot of these markets have no volume because this is the night before these markets are active so there's not much information for us to see there but you can see the next market that's coming up um, is there even though we're sat on the 2015 we can have a look at what's going on on the 2030 now you can also do this in terms of a mouse over as well so when you're actively um, moving the mouse around um, it will actually highlight those markets now because I'm in Guardian um, the mouse over is really for use on something like the watch list so if I add all of these together and then we go to the watch list and we say display um, the selected uh, watch list add those markers to the watch list and display it it's going to appear over here I'm just going to drag it across for you you can see that um, if we actually uh, move around on the watch list now uh, the market overview screen. in fact what I should do is if I just bring this up here you'll see it change as I move over each of these individual markets so when you use the um, mouse over option what it's saying is on a watch list or a selection of markets but the Guardian is reserved for when you're selecting a market in Guardian so um, using the watch list is a really useful way of just scanning up and down you can see I've like truncated I've shortened the list here we can actually add in more runners if we want to it's just for demonstration purposes it's nice to just be able to do this and run across individual markets like I said a lot of these markets have little or no volume in them at the moment so we can't gain much information from that but tomorrow morning you know the first thing I do will be chucking all of the markets into Guardian um, adding them to a watch list and having a scout at them on the market overview screen that's part of the setup that I do uh, first thing in the morning and when I'm actively trading so yeah that should give you a nice little overview of the market overview screen so I couldn't help adding on to the end of this video just for the sake of completeness a look at today's markets so you can see I've got Guardian in the background I've attached those markets to the watch list and we've got the market overview screen on the right and if I just move my mouse down across these markets you can see how easy it is uh, to look at each of these markets um, obviously we can amend all of this as I've shown in the video already uh, but it makes it very easy for you to be able to have a good look at what's going on um, on individual markets um, and just I mean the overview is a really useful way of, of getting a summary of all the activity in the market at a glance and it will present you with a few opportunities um, if you use Bet Angel like this. So there you go, there's the market overview screen.